I need y'all to hit the like button. I need you to comment an emoji down below. I need y'all to interact with these videos. So, what I need you guys to do to the best of your abilities is to watch my video from beginning to end. Instead of, like, you know, watching two seconds of it and then watching two minutes of it and then not really listening to the whole video. I need y'all to please put me on when you just you know if you need something in the background you know what i'm saying please excuse this is suspicious oh this is suspicious y'all my hairline is suspicious right now this is a suspicious wig it's suspicious okay um because i didn't really tie my hair i put a bonnet on instead of like tying my hair up so my uh unit is lifting on the side plus i wear glasses so you know like unless my unit is done a particular way it's going to lift and then look a little ashy because i need to you know do something with this hairline but anyway i need you guys if you can to please watch this video try not to skip around if you can watch it i need you to send all the good information to the algorithm that you can is the day that i'm filming this i don't know if i'll get this up this same day but it's my mom's birthday so happy birthday, mama. I miss you immensely. I just wanna call you and talk to you for a minute. Typically, my mom has been visiting me in my dreams. Like when things get really, really, really tough for me emotionally, she'll visit me in my dreams, but she has not been in my dreams lately. So I'm just like, oh, you know, it's like one of those dreams where you have a dream about someone and you don't wanna wake up. And then when you wake up, you're devastated because it's like oh and then even if you try to lay down or you try to go back to sleep um you don't go back to that same place all the time in your dreams so i'll be honest with y'all i have been eating my feelings for the last 10 days i've gained seven pounds back And I'm so sick and tired of losing and gaining and losing and gaining and losing and gaining the same amount of weight. I am like, I'm so tired of that. I want to lose weight and that weight be gone, like, and not come back. Um, so I'm a little frustrated about that. But the blessing and everything is that. I've made up in my mind to do something about a lot of things. And at this point in my life, I feel like this time is different because I have support different than I've had before in the past. There's a part of me, y'all, that just wants to run away from everything. I don't want to deal with any of the things that I have to deal with. I don't want to be a bigger, big girl. Like, I don't want to be mature. I want to just run away. This is just some of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm going through, like, okay, girl, so I'm trying this again. I just had a moment, right, where I felt like I was getting, like, a little bit nauseous, like, I'm, so one thing about me is that when I'm going through it, like, emotionally, like, when I'm having anxiety or I'm stressed, my stomach goes through it. I don't know if y'all can relate to that, but, like, my stomach goes through it when I'm, like, like operating at a high level of stress and, like, a high level emotionally. And what I got going on in my life, like, I will tell y'all this. So, I'm going to be all over the place in this car chat. Y'all know that I'm going to pour into y'all's lives because that's what, for whatever reason, I couldn't have a purpose that was, like, you know, about me. <laughs> Why can't I have a, a purpose that's selfish? I know this is going to sound bad, but why can't I have a purpose that's about me? Like, I would really much prefer if my purpose was like, I don't know. I don't know. What if my purpose was like to have a badass, build-a-bear-ass body that was sexy and beautiful and like 
encourage women to be to be like have fitness you know why couldn't that be my ministry like why does my ministry have to be something that leaves me draining all the time anyway or something that people complain about <laughs> why my purpose gotta be a complaint like why can't it okay anyway don't question god don't question god okay i get it all right y'all so i'm trying to not look like a street walker with this wig because it's not i haven't done anything to it i really like it y'all know i like curly hair but it's it's giving a little bit street walker vibes right now but anyway we're gonna keep it moving i ain't got no bra on try not to show nothing okay so when i have anxiety i get st i have stomach problems so i may get a little bit nauseous i may get gassy i'm serious y'all i know this y'all gonna be laughing but i'm not kidding i'm serious now one thing i want to talk to you about y'all i'm going through some things now it would be very easy for me to get on here and be like oh i'm so happy my life is so wonderful i'm i feel so great everything is so wonderful but that's just not me so i've got a couple of different things that have been rare like wearing me out emotionally and mentally because i have not been able to directly address them or talk about them but i won't say i have not been able to i would say i've chosen not to i have been trying the whole oh turn the other cheek don't address it ignore it and it's literally been like taking a toll on me physically because i'm so like I'm extremely like stressed and depressed and like frustrated about it right so one of the things that well I can't talk I'm not going to talk about like what's going on but I am very frustrated about something but I'm I'm prayerful and I'm going to God about it and I'm just prayerful because I know if there's one thing that I know two things for sure when God have a plan and a purpose and when something is orchestrated within his will, no matter what I do, no matter what the next person does, no matter, about, no matter what other people do, no matter, it's going to come to pass. Like, you can do whatever you want to do to stop it, but it's fate, it's destiny, it's set in motion. Y'all, I look so bald-headed right here. Um, And it's not up to me, and it's not up to you on how it's going to go. Like, whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. Um, whether you agree with it or not, it's going to happen. So I just have to hold on and do my part and show up. Right? I have to do my part and show up each and every day. So I am just going to say to you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for continuing to support my content. Thank you for watching me on a daily basis. If you see something and it's impersonating me and you see that it has my name on it and it is not me, number one, don't send me a screenshot of it. Do not watch it. Do not click on it. Do not interact with it. Don't send it to me. Don't cuss nobody out. Don't fight. No, we're not doing that. That's not what we're doing over here. We treat people. I don't care if it's your enemy. I'm dusting my feet about I'm dusting my feet on that because that ain't got nothing to do with me because at this point that's between them and God. Whatever they got going on is between them and God. It don't have nothing to do with me. I'm dusting my feet of that. So we are not interacting. We're not interacting. We're not being disrespectful. We're not putting people down. We're not being rude. We are going to take the high road. We are going to focus on getting ourselves together. My people, my followers, all I ask is that if you are recommended a video because YouTube is very petty. YouTube likes drama. YouTube thrives. The algorithm of YouTube thrives off of drama so what it will do is be extremely petty and recommend something knowing that it shouldn't but it knows that how it could cause a problem it's going to do that so if you see something that is recommended to you all you have to do is click on it and say do not recommend if it's not me and if it's something that you don't want to be recommended don't click on it don't watch it don't cuss the person out definitely don't screenshot it and send it to me i don't want to see it I love y'all, but I don't, I'm not on that. Like, this is 2022. Like, I have everything that I have done. My body of work speaks for itself. Everything that I have built didn't just happen overnight. It was built because of part purpose, part plan, part God. You know, that's the biggest part. But also hard work, 
dedication, being original, not copying other people, actually being not just a personality, but working hard, being willing to put in the work. Not just sitting on my butt, you know, uploading videos, but actually understanding SEO, understanding metrics, understanding the algorithm, understanding which requires what? Research, work, understanding long tail keywords like I told you guys before, understanding how to grow and also how to serve people. Because listen, if if I do some a channel and do YouTube and it's just all about me and it's all about what I want and all about what I think and all about my opinion it's not gonna work <laughs> ain't nobody showing up for that it's got to be about what the people want and that's what i tried to do here was first of all give fat black untraditionally shaped women a, a platform give them a voice give them a place where they can go and understand that you don't because see this is what happens to us a lot of the times right especially when it comes to weight loss what we do is we want to lose weight and what we do is we put off everything in our life to happen until after we lose weight and then you know what happens you don't lose weight and none of the other shit that's supposed to happen in your life like the stuff that you could have been doing while you was also working on your weight you could have been accomplishing goals outside of your weight right you could have been going to school you could have been getting a degree you could have been saving money you could have been building a business you could have been doing all those things but you said oh no i can't i can't do it i won't do it i'm not gonna do it until after i lose weight and then you never lose the weight and then now you're 50 years old and you never went and worked towards accomplishing any of the goals that you wanted to because your life wasn't exactly perfect that's how the world tries to get you in a rut and in a trap that's just like the same thing where people they love to like people are really they, they're so controlling and manipulative and like like people are really y'all there's some real crazy weird things going on and we have to be ever ever vigilant to make sure that we're not getting caught up in the crazy right because i'm the type of person that i want to help people so i think like okay this person is crazy something's wrong but maybe something made them that way maybe they've been through a lot maybe they're they have a severe like for example my mommy used to be um very grumpy sometimes like in the morning she used to be grumpy right the reason why she was grumpy in the morning is because she had been in pain and she may not have been able to sleep well the night before. So she really wasn't grumpy because she was just being mean. She was grumpy because she was tired, because she was up all night, because she was in so much pain, she couldn't sleep. So because I had that experience with her, for me, I try to look at other people through that same lens. Like I be thinking like, okay, maybe this person is being mean because really they're lonely. Maybe this person, is acting like this because really you know they're hurting but sometimes people are just nasty they're just nasty and they don't care and they're acting the way they're acting because that's just that's just who they are and we have to learn that we can't put give our energy to these things we have to move on and move past those things so i just wanted to say like one of the 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 things that i feel like is super important is don't wait um, I'm all over the place, but I had a couple of, I wrote down what I wanted to talk about and I had a couple of different things that I wanted to address. Don't wait until your life passes you by. Don't wait until your life, try to make your life perfect before you start living it. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait and say, oh, well, once I get gotcha bypassed, then I'll live my life. Don't wait and say, oh, every single day i wake up because listen the reason why i can tell you this is because this is something that i'm doing like i've done in the past where i'm like you know what i just can't once i you know once i have more money then i'll be happy once i lose weight then i'll be happy once i have the perfect relationship then i'll be happy once i have to stop dealing with problems in my body then i'll be happy once i have to stop dealing with this man who is harassing me then i'll be happy you know once i stop dealing with is my lips not looking good and once i stop 
dealing with some of these things that I'm dealing with, then I can be happy. But no, it don't work like that. Because then you'll never be happy because it'll always be something else. It'll always be something else that's happening or going on in your life to make you want to give up. So to say that, oh, once these things are no longer happening, then I'm going to be happy, girl, that's never going to work. You're still going to be upset. It's still going to be some foolishness going on. It's still going to... I feel like I'm just a floating head. It's still going to be some foolishness. No matter what, girl. No matter what. So you can't just wait until these things... You know what I'm saying? You cannot wait. You have to live your life today. So what I want us to do... I think I told y'all this before. Um, Here's my... Let me see. Where's my pen at? I ain't got no pen. Y'all, I've been telling y'all this for months and months and months and months. Listen, real quick, side note. Get your tickets for the retreat. You do not, I'm telling you, you do not want to miss out on this retreat. If you have any questions, email me at missamore.team at gmail.com. Miss, M-I-S-S-A-M-O-R dot team at gmail.com. If you have questions in regards to the treat retreat, also make sure you join Patreon, patreon.com forward slash joy or more. Join the Patreon, girl. We are having a lot of really fun things going on. We're going to be doing, we're going to be doing cake baking and cupcake baking and decorating. We're going to be learning how to do that. We have a money matter, a money matters seminar where we're going to be learning how to save and budget. That's coming up on Girl, I think that's this Saturday. Money matters. If my assistant is watching, can you please put the um put the money matters down below? Tell me when it is because I don't remember. But shout out to my team. I love y'all. Y'all are great. I have a great team of people that support me, support me, and really have made my life easier this year. But what am I looking for? I don't found a pen already. What am I looking for? See. When I get nervous and when I get stressed, that's what happens. Why am I looking for something that I found it already? What what am I doing? Okay. Okay, so y'all listen. Y'all know how they got this thing where they got these clamps that you could put on your pocketbook? All they did was take a keychain and remarket it to you. And now they charge now y'all paying a hundred and some dollars for keychains. Girl, that's not worth it. Get you a keychain. Go on Amazon and get you this little clamp, put it on your keychain, and hang it on your pocketbook, girl. It's cost twelve dollars. I just gotta take the tag off of it. Don't be girl, don't let people remarket to you, girl. Cause now you paid a hundred dollars for something and it's not worth it. Okay. Anyway, so what we wanna do is we're gonna definitely be focusing on the positive. I want you to get you a notebook for now and I want you to write three things that you're gonna make happen this month okay once you get it from out of here and you get it here where you can see it then you're going to go ahead and take it from off of there and put it on your vision board let's talk about how to start i think one of the most difficult things is that we go through is when we really want to make something happen we don't know where to start and we always will come up with the excuses because i used to be y'all i really honest to god this is the honest to god truth for years and years and years, there was parts of my life that I really wanted to change. I really wanted to change my life in different areas of my life. And I always would get all of this momentum to say, okay, this is the year. This is the month. This is the day. I'm going to make this happen. This going to happen. We're going to make this happen. This is going to this gonna work this time. This time is going to work. It's not going to be like last time. Um, girl, no, that wasn't it. Okay. It's not going to be like last time. Things are going to be different this time. We're going to change it. It's going to work, right? We'll get all this momentum. And then I will get ready to start and be like, I don't know what the first step is. How do you start? Meaning, how do you start making changes or doing that thing in your life that you have always wanted to do, but you always have felt bound by your circumstances, right? So, number one, 
You can't look at the now. You can't look at the how. So write that down. You can't look at the now and you can't look at the how. What you got to look at is the why. Why is this going to happen? Why do I need this to happen? If you can get a big enough why something has to happen, then it doesn't matter about the how. Because how will come. Nine percent, no, nine, ninety percent of the time when I make something happen in my life and I create what it is that I want to happen, I, I don't concentrate on the how. I concentrate on why this is happening, why I'm going to make this happen. And the, the the how always manifests itself. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all, nine times out of ten when you make a plan, that shit don't work how you planned it. But that's okay. Because it's not about that. It's not a failure. Because the plan, there's power in the plan, right? But that just prepares you. The plan is all about preparation. It's not necessarily about execution. So when you're making a plan, it's like, where do I start? How do I start? How do I start YouTube? How do I start losing weight? How do I start my business? How do I start preparing for my life partner? My husband, how do I start the process to having a baby? How do I start the process to, did I say losing weight already? Y'all know that's a big one for me. How do I start the process of healing? How do I start making money online? How do I start? I mean, there's all of these different things that you could say. How do I start? How do I start? Where do I start? It's not about that. What's important is preparation. The plan is not about the execution. It's not about exactly how you're going to make it happen. The plan is about preparation. If you've ever noticed, you may have had one plan. Look at y'all. Look, look, look. When will y'all use me as an example? I originally planned to do makeup videos. I loved makeup. And I have been watching makeup gurus. And I said, you know what? I don't see no makeup gurus that's got double chins and you know hyperpigmentation like me or darkness in different colors like you know i'm three or four different colors just from my face and my chest this is lighter than this sometimes this right here is darker than everything you know my body's it's like i'm different colors and i wanted to see makeup being done by people that look like me you know i had a couple of girls that look like me that um, that I watched their makeup tutorials, but I was like, "Ooh, maybe I can do makeup tutorials." Girl, I did two makeup tutorials and was like, mm -mm, "This not for me." But it wasn't about the execution, cause look at where I am. I'm still doing YouTube. It wasn't about the execution or making it happen. It was about the preparation. Even though I was preparing to do beauty videos or to do makeup videos that never manifested, but my YouTube channel is here. My following is here. My platform is here because there was preparation done. Even if it didn't necessarily prep prepare me for exactly what I wanted it to prepare me for. If that makes sense. Put it down below in the comments if that makes sense. So, how do you start living in your purpose? How do you start working towards your goals? You got to write it down and understand your why. You don't have to understand the how because the how will come, girl. Because listen, I'm not even going to put, I'm not, y'all, it's so, y'all don't even understand how many people it is that hate me. It's so many people that hate me and so many people that's gunning for me and so many people that's trying to dig a ditch for me and wishing for my downfall. But the thing about it is, and I don't know when people will learn this, when you dig a ditch for somebody else, be careful, be careful, sis, because you digging a ditch for the next person, you're going to fall in your own hole. See, you can't take something from me that you didn't give to me. And you can't duplicate something that I'm doing because you're not me. God didn't give it to you. He gave it to me. Now, if you would concentrate on the gift God did give you, instead of being like the person with the talents, because you got two talents, you're going to throw your talents down on the ground and let them go to the side because you worried about what I'm doing. Now, your talents, your God-given talent that would make you millions, you're not even concentrating on because you're too busy being envious of how my fat black ass got to be where I am. And if you mad now, you really finna be mad in 2023. 
You really finna be mad in 2024. Girl, I'm not even... This isn't even a minute mustard seed of prosperity, love, happiness. This is nothing. Like, y'all, what are you jealous of? This is nothing of where I'm going. I've seen my future. It's bright. And it's not full of bullshit. <laughs> and if, I'm telling you, don't ever be envious. Do not ever be envious of what somebody else have. You have your own talent. That's the thing. I don't, that's just one emotion. I understand anger. I understand hurt. I understand, but jealousy and envy, I don't, my brain does not comprehend that. Because when I see somebody else with something, the only thing I'm jealous of is people who have mamas. I do, I am definitely jealous of people who still have their mama. Especially if they're like 30, 40, 50. I be like, damn. You know, and I see these mothers and daughters doing things. And now I'm in a different stage in my life than I was when my mama was alive. Like, I'm making more money now. She and I could have, oh my God, girl. If my mama was alive, y'all hoes would never see me. Because me and my mama would be in Barbados. We would be in Bahamas. I would be carrying her ass all over the world. I would be having her on planes. I would be having her on. I would be traveling with her. Taking on her on all kinds of trips. Because my mama loved to travel. She loved traveling. And oh my God. We would be traveling all over the place. Child. So. I wouldn't even be worried about. I don't even think. I don't know. If that. I, you know what? I don't think that I would be. I don't know that I'd be on the internet. I don't think I would. I really don't. I I would be enjoying myself with my mom. Getting aggravated with her. Oh, I be get aggravated. Joy, put your makeup on. Joy, put your earrings on. Joy, wear your bra at. Put your good bra on. Don't put your house bra. Put your Sunday bra. Mom. Because my mom definitely was that type of person who did not go nowhere without lipstick and earrings and an outfit. Like, I don't give a... Like, all of this, how I be looking like this with my house dress on. Oh, no, ma'am. My mom would not tolerate that. How I be coming on here and I be looking crazy? No, ma'am. My mom would be like, oh, you you represent me, mama. No, you represent me. You don't walk around looking like that. I wouldn't be doing none of that. Um, But anyway, so, y'all, don't be jealous and envious of people because you have your own talents. And if you would concentrate on developing your name, develop you. You have your own talent. Your talent is fucked. You're talented. You have no reason to be copying anyone else or trying to steal or take or extort from other people. You actually are talented. And if you would concentrate on developing your talent, your charisma, your personality, people would love you. Be vulnerable. No, you're afraid of being vulnerable. Because you're afraid that if they discover the real you, they won't like you. I don't give a damn if people know me, the real me, and they don't like me or not. Because I'm at the end of the day, I'm going to be me. At the end of the day, I am going to be me. And at the end of the day, I recommend you be you. If it's one thing about it, two things for sure, you should be allowed to be who you are. Develop who you are. That's how you start understanding your why what is your leverage what is that thing that you can grab hold to and hang on to that when shit gets tough and you want to give up and you want to throw in your towel and you don't want to do this anymore and you tired and you never want to be bothered what is that thing that you can grab hold to and it's gonna it's gonna carry you that's your leverage that's your why then once you do, once you get so sure about your why and you start your preparation, you go on to your preparation like, bitch, I'm finna get ready. Like, you ever just been got up, took a shower? Like, it's your day off, right? I, I, tell me down below if this has happened to you because my real, my real A1's gonna know what I'm talking about. Have you ever gotten up, right? And took a shower and started getting dressed? And somebody be like, where you going? Be like, I don't know. I'm just going to get ready. What happens? Every time you get up and you start taking a shower, you get ready. You know what happens? Somebody's going to call 
hug you or text you and be like, hey, girl, you want to go have lunch? Be like, yeah, girl. Well, what time? I'll be there in 10 minutes, girl. I'm already getting ready. I ain't got nothing to do. Every time I start getting ready, baby, like, babe, where you going? I'll be like, I don't know. Somebody will text me, hey, you want to do this? Hey, you need, I need you to get on a Skype call. Hey, you, um, you need to, can you come to th this meeting? Hey, can you, when you start preparing, the how will work is for it'll come. Get prepared. Get ready. I know we ain't got nowhere to, do, to go. I know it's a whole row row out here in these streets. But girl, get ready. Listen, right now, your garage is so full of bullshit, you couldn't even fit a Range Rover in there. If you get a Range Rover tomorrow, where it's going to go? You can't have it out in the yard. Clean out your garage. Get ready. If you want a fancy wardrobe, clean out your closet. If you get every single Christian Dior or uh, Christian Dior, every single Dior, if you get every single um, Louis Vuitton, if you get every single um, Louis Vuitton, where are you going to put it? You don't even have your closet set up. Where you going to put it at? Get ready. Prepare yourself. It's not about the execution. It's about the preparation. And if you prepare yourself and you get ready, the make a way will come. Just get ready. Get your plan. Plan. Even if none of the shit happens on your plan, girl, still get prepared. When you plan, it prepares you. That's how you start. If you don't need to worry about, oh, well, I'm trying to wait until I can get enough clothes. Listen, take your ass down there to the Goodwill. Get thrifted, thrift stuff. Go to your cousins, your sisters, your aunties. Hey, listen, girl, I, I got $100. I'll buy all the clothes you haven't worn in the last year. Can I give you $100 and shop your closet? Listen, if one, if one of my sisters or my cousins or my close friends to me, and we wore the same size, and she came to me, and she said, hey, girl, here's $200. I need to shop your closet. What can I get for $200? I would say, listen, here's a bucket. Whatever you can put in there, you can have it. Just to get it out the way. And she taking it with her. Why don't you go to one of your friend's houses and say, listen, girl, I will organize your closet. Can I keep everything that you can't wear? Most women will be like, yeah, hell yeah. Take those clothes, right? Iron them, clean them, wash them up. Get you some lookbooks together. Boom. Now you can post your post on Instagram. Get you a hashtag creator. Get your hashtag creator, right? Get you something that there's all different kind of free. There's display, um, display purpose. There's, what else is there? Display purposes. I'm just saying, if your goal or your dream is, I want to be an influencer. I want to do YouTube. I want to do social media. I don't know how to start. I want to have my own business. I don't know how to start. I want to lose weight. First of all, you got to have immersion. In order for you to be able to do what it is that you want to do and to manifest, I hate that word, but to create the life that you feel that you're destined to live, you've got to have immersion. What is immersion? Immersion, y'all put it down below because I know some of y'all, y'all up on game. See, I'm talking to y'all, but y'all don't, y'all know this already. Some of y'all can write this already. I can tell by the way y'all coming. Some of y'all, see, some of y'all, yes, y'all petty, y'all messy, y'all here for the drama, y'all hating. But that's a very small, that's a small percentage of my viewers. Most of my girls, on point. Got their own, got their own everything. They already, they just discourage. So that's why I'm here. I'm not here to preach to you. I'm here to pour into you and encourage you and be like, come on, girl. Come on, you got this. I'm your cheerleader, your coach. I'm not here and I'm doing this for free. This costs you absolutely nothing but a moment of your time. That's it. I'm just here supporting you because I feel like my queens already have a vision. That's what led you to me. You already got the vision. The problem is the follow through. And it's because we don't know how. Listen, I didn't know how, but I knew that what I was doing wasn't going to be always what I was dealing with. That there was a, you're going to feel it in your spirit. Like, man, 
This ain't what I'm supposed to be doing. This ain't what I'm supposed to be dealing with. It's supposed to be greater. It's supposed to be more. And that frustration, because you're frustrated a lot. Because, girl, I used to be frustrated. It's, ooh, girl. I used to be frustrated. And the reason why you frustrated is, and you don't even really know why, is because there's something more. You're being called to do more. And a first, the first steps in acknowledging your calling and when you're being called to do more is you'll start getting frustration. It'll happen to where you're, you're frustrated. You're frustrated. You're like... <sighs> You're frustrated, right? And your money ain't your money ain't adding, things ain't working right, your relationship, just everything you're gonna be frustrated because you know why? It's just like when a, a mother is carrying a baby. Before time that the baby's about to come, they got contractions. Because it's time for that thing to come out. It's time for it to be birthed. It's the same way when you walking in your purpose. When you're walking in your purpose. I'm preaching to myself. When you're walking in your purchase, wait. When you're walking in your purpose, <laughs> when you're walking in your purpose, okay? Okay? Things ain't gonna be thinging. When you get comfortable, things gonna start getting, it's gonna be frustration. You know why? Because it's time for you to move. It's time for you to birth the yoke. It's time to come out. Cause that thing been thinging inside you for a while, girl. It's been thinging, and now you're frustrated because you're trying to, you gotta, you gotta push it. You got to push. It. Don't fight it. That was kind of a fight. Wait. That was a little fighting. Don't fight it. Push it out. Right. So, how do you start? Where do you start? Find your leverage. Then get into your immersion. Your immersion is when you become obsessed with the success of what you want to happen. You're going to, every minute of the day, you're going to be reading about what you want to do. You're going to be learning about what you want to do. You're going to be watching people who are doing what you want to do. You're going to be following them. You're going to be paying attention. You're going to be reading, learning, listening. You're going to be putting it in your brain over and over i mean your les browns your tony robbins these are the people you need to be listening to your male robbins that's a female you need to be looking up motivational talks look up different subjects how to make instead of y'all being petty because some of y'all hating y'all haters can get y'all lives together too some of y'all that's messy and y'all like to go from one place to the other why wouldn't y'all use that mess to bless you you can use messiness to bless you. If y'all like to go doing a whole bunch of back research, that's a job. You could be a research. You could work in research and development. Y'all better learn how to turn some of this stuff that y'all do naturally into manifesting y'all some money and profit. Why can't you profit off of some of this stuff instead of doing it for free? Some of y'all people that be back in the behind the scenes and like to be getting quiet and like to not be seen doing some of this messiness that you're doing, that could be a job. That could be making you money. I'm not saying stop being messy. I'm saying why are you doing it for free? But then worried about your lights getting cut off, worried about your phone bill not being paid. Why? You got talent. It doesn't matter how somebody else may perceive your talent. There are jobs that would pay you to do that. You could go work for TV news station. There's a positions that are specifically for people who research, who are nosy. Matter of fact, one of the reasons why I was very good at being an underwriter is a part of being an underwriter is being diligent. Being, I'm very diligent. I'm not a type of person that's not not gonna do that's gonna do something that's not based on metrics. That was a part of my job. That's why I was successful at my job. It's because I was data. I'm a data driven person. I'm very data driven. That's why I'm very successful at YouTube, because YouTube is based on an algorithm. What is an algorithm but data, metrics? I am. My brain works with data and metrics. God kept giving you gifts already, 
And sometimes those gifts are not appreciated by other people. That's why you can't be worried about what other people's opinions are of you. You got to worry about what your own opinion of you are. Sit down and write, even if it's, I'm messy and petty. Bitch, if you got to write that down on the paper, bitch, that's, that's character. I'm messy and petty. How can I make money from being messy and petty? Hmm. Journalists. What do you think journalists are? Messy and petty. There are stars right now to this day that pay people to run their social media. If you're the type of person that loves to know like updates, you love to know what's going on in other people's lives, you love to pay attention, you love to keep up, that can be some that can be monetized. Where do you start? Search your attributes. Because everybody was given something positive about themselves. It's all about your perspective. Immerse yourself into what you want to become. You got to immerse yourself. For example, immersion would be an example of immersion would be let's say you want to learn French, move to Paris. After living in Paris for five years, you're going to learn some French. You want to learn German? Same thing. You want to learn Russian? Same thing. You want to learn Spanish? You could date somebody, date a Puerto Rican and then move to Puerto Rico. And you're going to learn some, you're going to pick up some Spanish. That's immersion, right? That's immersion. Immerse yourself in your craft. Don't be envious. Don't concentrate because you let in all of your, you, y'all, oh my God, you're so talented. You're letting all of your talents just be, you're throwing them in the garbage because you're obsessed with what you don't have and obsessed with feeling like somebody else doesn't deserve what they do have instead of obsessing over how can I take what I have? That's what I, I'm doing. I'm not thinking about, listen, there's so much I don't have. There's so much I don't have. There's so much I need or I want or that I would be satisfied with or that I would be happy with. Right? And if all I do is what? Focus on what I don't have all I do have will go to the wayside. Listen, there's people on, on YouTube. Yes, they're smaller than me. They have better shapes than me. They dress better than me. They got more money than me, more love than me. People watch them more than me. But there's nobody on YouTube that works more than I work. I will stand toe to toe with anybody. There's nobody on YouTube that works harder than me. That puts more effort into making things happen. I don't care who you are. You can stay in front of me. I don't care if you got a million followers. I don't care what you got. I don't care if you got a TV show. It's nobody on YouTube working harder and doing more to try to make things happen. Because, you know, the first thing when I tell people, they ask me, how did you how did you get on YouTube, right? The first thing I tell them what I did, you know what they tell me? Oh, I ain't going to do all that. Oh, it's because you got, it's because you with a white man. Oh, it's because you fat. Oh, it's because people, are not, they're not really watching you. They don't really like you. They just watching you because it's like a train wreck. They want to see a train wreck. They, they're really making fun of you. They don't really like you. They don't really think you're pretty. You just doing this because you want them to think, to say you're pretty. Girl. If I never get on TV again, I'm, bitch, I'm still pretty. Bitch, my whole life is coming to America. Bitch, if I work at McDonald's, bitch, I would still be, I would be at McDonald's like this with big earrings on, titties up. Thank you for, thank you for choosing McDonald's. Today we have fish filet two for two. How can I help you? I would be at McDonald's, lashes done, pretty. You, you worried about the wrong stuff. Whatever I'm doing, it's going to be done with excellence. Whatever I do. I'm not going to just be in a situation doing something because I want to, people to say I'm pretty. Are you delusional? I don't care what other people think about me. I care about what I think about me. How do you start? Immerse yourself into what you want to do. 
Watch it every single day. Don't let it escape your mind. Think about it every day, all day, every day of the week. Do nothing but think about that. Think about it. Watch it on TV. Read it in a book. If you want to, if you want to make ten thousand dollars a month, Google how to make ten thousand dollars a month. Watch every single thing that comes up. Read every single book. Write a journal entry. I want to make. Even if you got to write ten times. I want to make $10,000. I want to make $10,000. I want to save $10,000. If you don't write nothing in your book other than I'm going to make $10,000. Somebody riding by slow. I'm trying to figure out who is this riding by my house. I'm going to make $10,000. Write it down every single day. When somebody calls you, hey girl, how you doing? I'm, I'm here trying to figure out how to make $10,000. Hey girl, what you doing today? Finna make $10,000. To the person be like, oh girl, I ain't calling her no more. She all she talk about is ten thousand dollars. So you know, ten thousand dollars is only you know fifty dollars a day for this. Uh, you know, ten thousand dollars is only three hundred and thirty-three dollars a day for thirty days. You know that if I took that and broke it up, it's only thirty-three dollars and twenty-six cents over this amount. <laughs> Girl, you should know every single thing. If you wanna, if you wanna sell for the rest of your life, it's the same premise. If you wanna sell, girl, I don't know. If you wanna sell pocketbooks, whatever it is that you wanna do, immerse yourself and plan to win. You're gonna win. You're gonna make it happen. Stop worrying about how it's gonna happen. If you concentrate on why it's happening and planning it to happen. The how will start unfolding yourself itself before you before you even know it. Y'all, listen. Before I came on here, I gotta go. When I came on here, I came on here to talk to you about a story time about a friend of mine. Well, an ex friend. She was a friend, and that's I wanted y'all to laugh. That's what I came on here to talk about. But for whatever reason, God wants you to know. How do you start? You start right now. You start today. Every single day, you need to do something working towards your goal. I don't care what your goal is. It's not too big for you. It's not too small for you. Your goal is Goldilocks. It's just right. Your goal is Goldilocks, girl. Your goals are Goldilocks. They just right for you. Okay? Your goals and what you have... Listen, stop trying to not be happy with who you are. Stop trying to say, oh, I don't have enough confidence. Oh, I'm too shy. I'm too introverted. You're that way because you were meant to be that way. I'm too... I got ADHD. You needed ADHD because of what your purpose needed. Your purpose needed you to be that way. Girl, I done been out here too long. You seen what I seen? Do you see what I see? Did you see it? Listen, y'all. I love you guys to the moon and back. I appreciate you guys. I want you guys to be encouraged. I don't know what's going on with me and YouTube and how that's going to work out for me. But one thing I know about it is I'm going to always pour into you guys because that's a part of my purpose. Sometimes I can talk to you guys through my trial haul. Sometimes I can talk to you guys through my vlogs. I've been trying for the last four days to upload a vlog and I can't get it to upload. Um, <coughs> I still have two more vlogs from Gatlinsburg. I also have about three or four more videos that I'm trying to get uploaded for you guys. This is what I need you to do. Every time you see a video on mine, I need you to click on it and watch it for at least five minutes. I need you guys to go into your search cache. I need you to put Joy Amore into your search cache. And I need you to click on the first video of mine that you see. And I need you to watch that video for at least five minutes. And then comment an emoji. Okay? I need you guys to do this. If you guys do this, send me screenshots 
on Instagram. My Instagram is Miss Plus Amore at iCloud.com. M I S S P L U S. Well, wait a minute. That's my email. My Instagram is Miss Plus Amore. M I S S P L U S A M O R. If you listen, if you do it, I ain't gonna say why. If you do it, send me a screenshot of what you did on Instagram. All I need you to do is search my name. Search my name in your cache, Joy Amore. Click on the first video that you see of me. Watch that video for five minutes. Comment in emoji. Send me a screenshot on Instagram. Miss Plus Amore. I need all of you guys to do this. If you do this, might be some minute for you. But you got to send me a picture and make sure that way I can confirm your Instagram name and your YouTube name. It needs to match up so I can confirm it, okay? So, search in your cache, Joy Amore. Click on the very first video you see of me that has been recommended to you. Watch it. Even if you've seen it already, watch it for five minutes. Comment... Don't cheat, y'all. Comment an emoji. Screenshot it. Send it to me on Instagram. And let's see what happens. Okay? If you have not already, get your tickets for the Royal Retreat. I'm... Listen. Woo! I'm excited. Get your tickets for the Royal Retreat. Do not wait to the last minute. The Royal Retreat is not until June, but I have to have all of the information turned in way before then. We got to have all of our monies collected, all of our rooms booked. We have a time frame. It has to be done within that time frame. So if y'all could please pay your deposits so that way you can get your room and get all of your information. If you have any questions, email me, missamore.team at gmail.com. We have a money matter, money matters seminar. We're gonna talk about budgeting, how to do the white envelopes, how to save money. We have a goal of saving a certain amount of money together as a collective. Y'all need to join the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash joy more. If you wanna be in the know and know what's going on, connect with me, talk to me. We doing lives, we doing cook with me's, we doing pajama parties. We doing growing together seminars. We got all kind of things going on. We got weight loss going on, working out going on, walking together. It's a community of women. Um, we got about 150 of us that come together and we are strong and we are loving and kind and supportive. And it's, if that's something you're missing in your life and you really feel like you want to connect and you like what I got going on, that's the place to do it. Joy and more, okay? Patreon.com, Joy and more. Get your tickets. If you plan on going to this retreat, y'all, do not wait until the last minute. Pull the trigger. Get the ticket now. So that way you can know what's going on so you can prepare yourself. Because all the information about the retreat still ain't out. Some of it is only going to go to those who are participating. So y'all need to go ahead and get your tickets so that way you can be included and know exactly what's going on. Get your tickets. We have, I want to say, maybe 15 tickets left. 15 or 20. Get your tickets, y'all. Get your tickets. Do not wait. Get your tickets. I will put all of the information. Check the description box. Y'all, make sure you get your tickets for the Royal Retreat. Listen, don't let anybody steal your joy or your purpose. Guard your focus and your purpose. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for listening to me preach to y'all. Listen, I needed this. I needed this encouragement. Um, I love. That's why I love coming before y'all because I be needing this just like y'all be needing this. So we will talk later. I love you to the moon and back. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah! I wanna ride up to the ride.